online. Yeah, this messed up site Jake was into called The Cut-Up Room. By messed up, I'm assuming you mean pornographic. Yeah, but it's not really so much about sex. More violence. Like, really graphic stuff. Are there stories on this site? Yeah. Yeah, people post all kinds of stuff. Photos, videos, stories. And do you know if Jacob posted any stories? He did, yeah. He called them Job stories. Job stories? Yeah, you know, like his initials, J-O-B. That was the screen name on there. What do you know about this? I don't know. You gotta shut it down. And did Job post a story about the murder of Ben Rifkin? Yes. Commonwealth moves to enter into evidence. Objection. Your Honor, may we approach? Settle down, please. Respectfully, Your Honor, we ask to approach. Your Honor, this is an ambush. None of this was disclosed in discovery. Your Honor, the story was authored by the defendant. If he chose to hide it from his attorney, that's hardly the Commonwealth's fault. What's this about, Jacob? Jacob. I'm going to ask your patience while I allow defense counselor a moment to confer with her client. He's going to allow it unless our position is that Jacob didn't write the story. And that's our plan. They know that he wrote it, Andy. They've got an IP address. Jacob. If we push back now, we're only going to shine a brighter light on it. How bad is it? Jason stood there on the path as Brent kept walking toward him, grinning. If Brent knew the real Jason, he would have been scared shitless. Don't fuck with me, Jason warned him. I mean it. But Brent just laughed and grabbed him by the arm, twisting it back like he'd done so many times before. Stop, you're hurting me, Jason said, but it didn't hurt that much. He just wanted Brent to think that, so he would let go. Brent laughed again, the way he always did, a fake laugh. Jason's hand slipped into his sweatshirt pocket. There it was, his trusted friend. He curled his fingers around the grip and felt a surge of power through his arm, up into his shoulder. He knew there was no turning back now. The park seemed to know it too. He could hear the breeze in the leaves and birds chirping. Brent saw the knife coming for him, but it was too late to do anything but stare. It slipped in so easily Jason thought he was stabbing air. That surprised him. He did it twice more, telling his brain to remember the feeling for later. Brent fell backward and rolled down the slope until he stopped down below. Jason knew he should go, but he couldn't help himself. He went down to Brent's body to make sure he was dead. The smell of blood in the air made him feel dizzy. He found a small stream nearby and washed the knife off and his hand too. He could see his reflection in the water, but his face looked different to him now. It'll be our secret, it seemed to say. The end. The story was posted three days after Ben Rifkin's body was found. Yeah. Over the questions, John.